Hey YouTube, it's baby girl 1980, the gaming chick, and I'm doing a Portal 2 playthrough for the gameplay HQ. If you're interested in I know I said in my first Portal video that I will only do commentary over a few of the tests. This one had me stuck, so we're going to start with this one. First you're going to portal here on this platform. You're going to portal the blue liquid over there. And you're doing this so that the blue liquid will land on the platform that sits right abo above the portal. Like that. <laughs> Next, you're going to portal directly across from you. You're going to portal um, on this area right here. You're going to portal the orange stuff. The orange liquid makes you go fast, so um, you need that there. And right above the orange liquid, it's an incline. You put a portal up there, and you put the blue liquid through that portal. This in turn lands the blue liquid onto a ramp that sits up high. You're gonna excuse you're gonna have to excuse me here because I get my buttons mixed up sometimes, but um portal here and that's gonna shoot the blue stuff onto that ramp that's sitting above up there. Now now that that's now that that's done, we're gonna portal over to that area. Because now we have the board set up so we can get the box that in turns hits the switch that turns the, the first ramp that we put blue gel on. Now please don't do what I did. I, I totally failed on, <laughs> I totally failed on, I, as I was walking off this platform I let the box go and it landed in the water but it's no biggie all you gotta do is just portal portal back over there and um, just do it over We're gonna just drop the box like this. <laughs> and you guys have to excuse me. I have a, a fear of heights, so when I'm playing this game, I get that stomach flip thing. It, it, I just have a natural fear of heights, and this game does that stomach thing to me, and I hate that, but whatever. We're gonna get through it. So we're gonna put the switch on here, and you see the ramp turns. So now we have to get back over there and set up the second part of the puzzle. Technically, it's like the third part of the puzzle. If you, um, if you look all the way over here, there's another ramp and that's the ramp that takes you to your exit. You need to get the bouncy gel over there. And I make sure I make sure that the gel is there, so So you're gonna wanna portal over to this area again and put an exit portal up at the top where we just put bouncy gel at. Do your exit portal and then just go through it. Um, I think that's going to be the end of the commentary for this video um, because everything else is pretty self explanatory. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I Didn't mentioned earlier. Yeah. Again, all you got to do Didn't is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. 
So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? That, that I didn't die the first time, but um, I died the second time, and I want to keep it in here so um, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, once you hit these switches, um, it turns on the machines in the room. And I portaled the first time, but this time I decided not to, and that so didn't work. It was a total fail on my part. So I decided to leave it in a video. So what you're, the correct way to do it is once you turn on the machine, portal inside of the room where the switches are, and then portal down the hallway past the compressors or whatever they are. Once that stuff came on, you have the white paint, and um, you're gonna portal up there. So I'm gonna land you on that ramp, and you use the bouncy stuff that's falling out to bounce you up by this key box. You have fast, the fast orange gel to to take you through this area, and then. The next part of the board is um, you need to get over over there. So you're gonna use that fast gel to launch you from here to there. So I'll put the out portal up at the top of the wall, and I'm gonna put the in portal down here at the end of this hallway. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive. Do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. <laughs> <laughs> 